For some women, it's the curse of the birth control pill or the brown mask of pregnancy, an annoying condition known as melasma. Foundation on her cheek, concealer on her forehead. Adela Ray doesn't go without it. Right after 30, I started noticing just some what looked like freckles to me. By the time she was 32, Adela's freckles had transformed into melasma, her brown patches likely hereditary. My mother had it. She had a full mask. Melasma is a condition uh, that occurs predominantly in Hispanics and in Asians, um, and it tends to be triggered by our estrogen. Face ready, one, two, three. Adela is trying a new type of CO2 laser. Its target, the skin's top layer. Which is where a lot of this pigment resides. We're trying to peel that off so that we can um, even out the skin color and tone. With fractionated lasers like this, instead of wiping the entire surface with the laser, we're actually treating her in very fine little micro dots. You have less risk of things like loss of pigment or darkening of the skin. Even with her melasma, Adela can look pretty flawless with makeup. Her goal? To go out in public without makeup. Adela, bless you. It is difficult. It makes you very insecure to have that, you know? Yes. Dr. Sandra Lee, as always, with us to talk about this. Thank you for having me. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. <laughs> the, can that laser really make that much of a difference? Um, yes, it can, but, you know, melasma is very stubborn, and it's sort of unpredictable, and it really depends on where the pigment is in the skin. Sometimes it's really superficial, and sometimes it's deep, and you don't know until you try something, until you try to peel that surface off with a chemical peel, with a laser peel, like, like you saw on the television. With her, we actually have tape of her now. Um, she had, she says she's happy because she's had like a 50% improvement. But you know, of course, she really wants to go out without makeup on, and I don't know if she's there yet. And she may never get much more than this. You and know, I've been told don't... with some of these like lasers for me, and I have darker yes, yeah. skin, mm -hmm. that my skin wouldn't be right for something Absolutely. like this. Absolutely. Right? And so we have to be more conservative with darker complexed people like yourself or or me. I mean, we cannot be very aggressive as we can with somebody who's lighter, like Jeff, for example. Yeah, I've been. I've been we can be very worse, aggressive with yeah, you. Yeah, right. yes. What about some of the other products? Let's say uh, somebody doesn't want to go either to the expense or, yes, you know, to the extent well, of a laser. You've got to know what kind of can cause this. One is genes. You know, if you have a family member that has this, be aware of it that it may very likely happen in you. Number mm -hmm. two uh, is hormones. Birth control can trigger it. Hormone replacement, being pregnant, you'll see the mask of pregnancy. Yeah, and, he, and it comes like a mustache get. even yes, sometimes, yes, and it's just yes. you're just so embarrassed exactly. to get something like that. And yeah. sun exposure. If you don't live in a cave, if you lived in a cave, you would never get this. So sun protection sun. is very important. And one of the hold things it, that I love are the these camera. powders. There we go. You know, this is a great powder that you can put on any time. You can put it on in the car. You don't have to look at yourself. Yeah, it's SPF. Awesome. This is a sunscreen. So this is a really nice thing to have because people don't realize you have to put sunscreen on multiple times in the day. Okay. Every couple of hours. Lectured about that because so I have those, great. Like, I have like the brown sunspot. Yes. So yeah. you got to take yeah. that. Got to take that mm -hmm. with you. And then we have skin bleaching creams, and there's prescription level skin bleaching creams that you can use. And so these are really nice because they're going to help lighten the skin over time. Oh, how cool so you is just that? Put a, you know, it's like a little and a little peel or something. It has kojic acid in it but too. But you have to so use that's this skin How long? I mean, isn't this like a six month process before this even gives you lightening? Um, uh, well, it can take a month. So I mean, I've seen right. it improve in a month even. So it just depends on how bad you have it. Yeah. All right, Doc, well, Dr. Sandra Lee, thank you very thank much you for that. For Did we get the cost? How, yeah, how uh, much? Real quick. The laser, about $1,000. About $1,000. But for yeah. someone who has that, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. That's all the time we desperate. have, everybody. We thank you all very much for oh, being well. here. Richard Marks was here. We'll see Thanks. you tomorrow. Thanks, Richard. Thank you.